as you can see, this incubator has been emptied of all the racks. We are now gonna get into the process of cleaning this incubator out. Uh, and typically what we recommend at James Way is that we clean these, these incubators out uh, quarterly. And, and the reason we want to do that quarterly is to help reduce the bacteria loads that could build up within these cabinets. So, uh, the process of, of cleaning out a multi-stage incubator is going to be very, very similar to the process of cleaning out one of our hatchers. We've got a video, uh, a very detailed video on cleaning out a multi-stage hatcher. This is going to be um, very similar process, very similar steps in cleaning out the multi-stage incubator. We're not going to physically go through all the cleaning steps today in this video training. I will refer back to um, that, that video on cleaning out hatchers, but I will explain in detail each step of the process. So the first step in this process is to remove our racks out of the machine. Again, we want to do this roughly quarterly uh, to help reduce the bacterial load within the machine. We want to then, the next step would do a dry sweep or vacuum up of the material that is within the cabinet. You may need a scraper or a handheld putty knife, something along those lines to clean up any dried up egg, egg matter that might be on the floor. So once we've done that and we've completed the, the dry clean, the dry sweep of the, of the machine, we will then focus our attention to the uh, fans and we'll take a vacuum and we'll vacuum off the dust on our fans, both on the, um, the side that is exposed on the uh, entrance end and then the side that is exposed here within the machine cabinet, trying to get all the dry material off the fans. The next step in the process will be to take a garden hose and, and gently um, and carefully mist and wet the entire area within the cabinet, starting from the ceiling and working our way down the side walls and down to the floor. We will then um, with a scraper, scrape up any any material that we couldn't get up with our when we were doing our dry clean. We will come then through and um, after we've rinsed the machine down, come through with our soap and our foamer and come through and foam the entire incubator with our, our foaming soap solution, starting at the bottom and working our way up to the top of the machine. We also want to make sure that these 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 water these water reservoirs here uh, are removed and taken down and cleaned as well. They can have some dried up material. They can have some slime buildup on both of these, and this is where your humidity nozzles are. So if you have nozzles that are dripping. We can, we can create a little bit of an organic material, organic soup up in, up in this area. Definitely want to make sure this is cleaned out during the process. <clears throat> so we've, we've soaked and, and foamed the entire machine. Just like we did in the hatcher, we're going to come through with a scrubber and we're going to hand scrub the machine, the walls, ceilings, if we see any material or see any areas that need additional scrubbing, we can put a little extra elbow grease in and get that material up. When we get down to the floor, a lot of times I use I use a doodle bug, which is that same scrubber with a with a handle, and this way you're not having to be bent over the entire time. You can take your doodle bug uh, doodle bug scrubber and scrub the entire floor. Once we've done that, we're going to come back through and we're going to rinse the entire machine down with water. Again, we want to use, um, you can use a garden hose or you can use a pressure hose in this area. Once we've, once we've rinsed the entire machine, we're going to come through and squeegee out the excess water. <clears throat> 
Once we've got that completed, we are then going to uh, sanitize or disinfect our machine. Now I did mention that we can use a pressure washer within this cabinet. Uh, some locations uh, don't allow it uh, and typically I don't either just because we don't want somebody using a pressure washer on our fans. Our fans are not rated to be cleaned with a pressure washer. So in case of somebody accidentally using a pressure washer to clean the fans, I just never used a pressure washer to clean the inside of these machines. I always used um, the foam uh, or soap material and a garden hose. So again, you can use a pressure washer, but I would just use that on our walls, floors, and ceilings, and I would certainly stay away from the fans totally. <clears throat> So once again, once we've got our machine cleaned, it's been soaked, it's been rinsed, we've squeegeed out the excess water, come through, make sure everything looks good, then we'll come through and we will sanitize the machine, very similar to the way we did when we sanitized the hatcher. We're gonna take that, that foamer unit that has the sanitation solution, we're gonna come through and we're gonna start on the floor, work our way up the walls, and up to the ceiling. We're then going to leave the machine. We're going to allow it to dry, and we're going to turn. We're also, as we leave the machine, we're going to turn our fans on and allow this to dry. <clears throat> Once the machine has dried up, we're going to come through. If there's any puddles of water, we'll get that squeegeed up, taken care of, and then we can then move eggs back into this into this machine. Typically, it takes about an hour or so, 45 minutes to an hour <coughs> with a couple people to clean this incubator. And then by the time you um, let it dry, you're looking at a couple hours before we can move eggs back in here. So anyway, that's the process. And if you got any questions, please feel free to reach out to a James Way service person.